Ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring this up here at the top of the show. We, we get a lot of amazing guests on our program. Like now, tonight. Well, tonight we have an amazing great. lineup. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, we get a lot of big celebrities mm -hmm. coming through here. And people that have great stories to tell and great talents to share with us. But let's face it, occasionally uh, we get a guest who, for one reason or another, just doesn't work out. I mean, and we've had some clunkers. Totally lame. A lot of our guests, horrible. No, Andy, <laughs> some. <laughs> no, a lot. <laughs> I, you're overdoing this part. Isn't that, what, isn't that what people have come to expect? And love yeah, exactly. Yeah, the awkward silences. Yes. No, no, we occasionally get... Right, well, occasionally we, we get make a people, mistake. Yeah, they're, they just, well... They don't work out for one reason or another. They're clunky. I mean, it's a loose show. You know? Exactly, right, right. Well, anyway, uh, tonight uh, we thought we'd take just a minute to look back at some of those unpleasant but memorable moments in a little segment we like to call Guests We'll Never Have Back. I wanted to pet it, but it went away. Mm. All right. Uh... I'll tell you something. Oh, stop. All right, uh, now first guest up that we're never going to have back is uh, nine-year-old Ryan Logan. Ryan is a child inventor, and we thought it would be kind of fun if he came on the show and showed us some of his inventions. We thought it would be really cute yeah. and supportive for the kid. Unfortunately, Ryan turned out to be nothing like we expected. Take a look. So you're nine years old. Uh-huh. And you've been inventing stuff since you were how old? Four. Four. That is pretty incredible. Now, why don't you show us some of the stuff you brought today? Okay, the first thing is this mouse trap. I invented it because we have mice around our house, and it works really well. Wow, this looks really cool. I mean, it, it looks a lot like the ones you see in the stores. Well, I invented it. Yeah, no, no, no I, I'm sure you did. I'm sure this is a little different somehow. Oh, well, what else did you bring? I invented this alarm clock. So you set it in the morning and you wake up. And my dad uses it every day. Wow, that's great. It says Timex right here on the front. I invented it. Right. Right, okay, well, you got anything else? I invented this new drink. It's really good. Yeah, oh, come on, wait a minute. You invented Jack Daniels? I did. I did invent it. I did. I did. I did. Oh. We'll be right back. <laughs> kind of awkward. Yeah. Well, next up uh, is uh, Betty James. Now, Betty James, literally the oldest woman in America. I was really looking forward to, to meeting her because those, those interviews with really old ladies, it's always really compelling yeah. and charming. Well... Unfortunately, her appearance didn't really go all that well. So you're 121 years old? That's right. So let me understand this. When you were born, Ulysses S. Grant was president? I guess he was. This is unbelievable. I mean, it's a real honor to meet you. Tell us, what are some of the amazing things that you've seen during your lifetime? <laughs> Mrs. James? Mrs. James? <laughs> you know, uh, next guest we'll never have. I mean, we're really not going to have her back. Yeah. <laughs> No choice it's really kind of not up to us, yeah. you understand. But uh, this next one, um, remember this guy, Alvin Bridges. Alvin Bridges, he's a talented caricature artist. Oh, yeah. And his claim is that he can draw anyone's caricature in 30 seconds. Well, we heard about this guy. We thought, what a great thing to see on yeah. the show. We accepted his challenge. We dared him to draw a caricature of me in, in 30 seconds. I got to admit the guy's talented, but I, I didn't enjoy his appearance that much. You'll see. 
Okay, your time is running out. You got about five seconds coming up. Almost Four, ready. three, two, one. All right, all right. <laughs> no more drawing. Moment we've all been waiting for. Let's take a look. What do you think? That is so dead on. That's fantastic. Great work. Greg. Thank you. Okay, we're going to have great. Take a little break. We're going to be right back. We'll do some commercials. Thanks. Oh, I mean, it's great. so cool. It's, great. it's so new. It's so perfect. See, I actually don't understand why we won't have him back. Okay, let's just move along. All right. All right. Well, you'd have to frame it. All right. <laughs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's this guy, uh, Brian Duffy, um, and uh, he will not be coming back on this show ever again. He's the national skeet shooting champion, and uh, we thought having an expert marksman on the show would just make for great, compelling television. Instead, it turned out to be possibly the worst moment ever on our TV show. Take a look. This is incredible. You haven't missed a target in seven years, is that right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. What is your secret? Concentration, I guess. I just sort of block out the rest of the world and focus in on the target. It's incredible. I want to see this for myself. Okay. We have a play pigeon right here. Are you all set? All right, I'm all set. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll take a break. Be right back. Stick around. Uh, I don't remember that one. <laughs> It'll come back to you in time. Okay. Yeah. The important thing is you're well now. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, anyway, we cleared that up. Tonight we have some guests uh, we're always going to want to have back, uh, including, coming up just after this commercial break, Mr. Tony Bennett going to bring Christmas right into your living room. Stick around. <laughs> 